Now we have a new alliance for Africa's climate infrastructure, which was unveiled today at the COP27 UN Climate Conference in Egypt. As the global summit gets into the fourth day, attention was shifted to the financing options for the various adaptation projects, in particular for the African continent. Right now, South Africa is leading with about 600 million euros in funding pledged by France and Germany. Kenya reportedly claims some 3.5 trillion shillings for the support, while Nigeria is going to benefit from 95 million pounds coming in from the United Kingdom. So, but what role can the debt capital market play in helping African sovereigns plug the huge climate change gap? I'm turning now to Johnson Chico, investment banking professional and the CEO at Kari Asset Management. Great to have you on the show tonight. Uh, it was good to have you on the program. Thank you so much. Uh, let's talk about money very quickly. Time is money. I'm sure you, 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 you know that. What are your thoughts around the various funding options for Nigeria and African countries to meet the climate change adaptations? We want the developed countries to fund it, but we'll have to put some money on the table as well. Yeah, th thank you, Boston, for having me. Of course, the developed, the developed companies, countries already have a lot of funding arrangement that they're putting in place to fund uh, clean energy globally. So Africa can tap into uh, some of them, which you are one of them, which you mentioned, the UK, uh, about 95 billion uh, million pounds that UK government has set aside. We also have the Sustainable uh, Energy uh, Fund for Africa that was initiated by Denmark that has investment or contribution by from US, UK, France, and a lot of other developed countries. But beyond that, we also have to begin to nurture our own homegrown funding for clean energy. And like you said, we should be talking of how do we bring in instruments into the capital market that investors can invest in that is focused, that are focused on clean energy. Interestingly, Africa has some of the natural potential for clean energy we have a lot of sun uh, so you have uh, um, you have capacity to build solar energy uh, sources and you also have the capacity to build wind energy particularly in some of the uh, sahara uh, um, exposed countries or sahara uh, bordered countries even in nigeria you have the other part of the country you have significant level of uh, wind energy uh, available but most importantly the entire african continent most of the, the <coughs> african continent north africa part of west africa have huge supply of uh, solar energy sources so we should be able to begin to tap that and build uh, a financial instrument either as bonds or funds that can type, focus on clean energy for uh, and then uh, attract both foreign and local uh, funding for clean energy in africa is, is there a role here for the debt capital market where you play yes absolutely um the issue is that of course we know um green energy or clean energy uh, is more cost uh, more expensive than um fossil fuel and other energy sources or dirty energy like fuel, um, uh, coal oriented energy but we also know that if you uh, package uh, a fund or a bond for clean energy you're going to have some level of uh, credit enhancement from some of these multinational and multilateral agencies that have set aside funding for clean energy you also have carbon credits that you can uh, expose those who are borrowing from those funds that will further reduce their cost of funds so the reality is that we as capital market uh, community need to come up with an inge ingenious ways to um, make uh, clean energy funding attractive to the capital market by tapping into some of those subsidies that are available in the market some of the credit enhancement available in the market i didn't did mention uh, issue of carbon credit that can actually reduce your cost of funding and make it attractive for you to borrow even to fund uh, your green energy source what do you want the government to do, specifically speaking, for example, do you want more government green bonds listed on the market? Where are you, what are the specifics? Give me one or two points. Yes, government can write the initiative. Government can actually start by setting up uh, energy funds, uh, clean energy funds. Uh, we already have the government initiative on clean energy that is going to re re reduce our carbon uh, footprint to zero, I think by 2050 or so. And government, we, we need to fast track that. We need to begin to set up funding arrangement government can provide that government can also provide credit enhancement by providing some level of subsidy uh, that uh, for those of us in the capital market that come up with some uh, form of um, clean energy bond or clean energy fund 
and government can be subscribers to those funds. And through government subscription, we can also attract multilateral funding. We just, you just mentioned the issue of the fund that been set aside by the UK government. I had mentioned earlier the uh, Sustainable Energy Fund that was initiated by the Danish government and has a lot of investment from, um, from several other uh, Western countries. Okay, so uh, if we need investment bank and institutions in terms of the climate bonds or debt offerings. Globally, the figure is soaring in hundreds of billions of dollars on the African continent, according to the EFDB president. We're just about to scratch the surface. Uh, I'm sure we have just only one, about one or two on our own Nigerian uh, markets. So what do you think the securities uh, market exchanges can do? I uh, will see strong sustainability processes and, uh, and actions here uh, on our own exchanges in Nigeria. Where are we at the moment? You know, uh, Bossy, like I said earlier, um, because uh, clean energy or green energy is actually more expensive to produce and, as given today's technology, uh, producers need some incentive. Uh, the incentive for those that may want to come into the market uh, to set up bond uh, that will be listed on the exchange or let's set up funds that will be listed on the exchange is some level of cost uh, uh, concession. So I think one of the things that the exchange can do is look at listing of green energy bond can uh, be granted some le uh, some level of cost concession in terms of listing costs, uh, in terms of post listing charges, uh, and then uh, for companies that go uh, assess uh, funding or, or change their energy source to green energy or renewable energy, they can also be granted some level of forbearance or some level of uh, tax concessions that will incentivize others to to the, the same line, and that tax concession will help moderate the cost of that energy source to them uh, or to shareholders who ultimately bear the residual uh, benefit or cost of uh, investment by companies. Uh, Nigerian breweries uh, uh, is reportedly working to change the energy source of some of its brewery plants in Nigeria to clean energy. How much more of such an energy transition would you like to see in the domestic market for companies that are listed on the various exchanges that are very huge in terms of using uh, uh, coal, for example, if you're talking about cement, those who are using diesel and others to do industrial uh, production, whether it's in breweries, in consumer goods, in, 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 in industrial goods as well, uh, even technology and telecoms. Yeah, you know, Boston, what uh, the Jamboree is really is going to be uh, is a big bank to be think, uh, investing about $10 million in renewable energy, um, having uh, two uh, of such um, grids that will be relying entirely on green energy to power their power plants, Atama and uh, uh, the one in Ogo State. The, the reality is that they're going to be what setting what we call a proof of concept. Of course, we've seen already operators in the uh, voted company that are already uh, using green energy to power their, their, their operations. If you take for the telecommunication companies, most of them have uh, hybrid power uh, supply sources at their cell sites. So you have diesel and they also have battery uh, solar powered uh, energy source in most of their cell sites. So a lot of them have already adopted some alternative or hybrid uh, energy supply sources, including green energy to power their uh, operations. But what Nigerian breweries will be doing will be what we call a proof of concept, that if they succeed with this investment and are able to, uh, to cut off from uh, fossil fuel supply sources, uh, like gas supply energy sources or, or, or national grid supply sources, then I believe a lot of other companies will want to follow the same route, uh, particularly if it comes out at reasonably uh, reasonable cost. But like I said earlier, such very profound and uh, uh, pioneer initiative should be supported by tax authorities, by fiscal authorities, through the we already have the Pioneer Act, uh, Pioneer Tax Law, which should be able to grant some the with some level of tax forbearance or tax holiday as a result of this initiative, so that will incentivize other people to uh, cut off. Uh, cut over from uh, fossil uh, or national grid. Of course, we already, uh, as a country, we have huge short supply of energy supply from national grid. So if you have companies that have such huge demand, such large demand for energy, cutting off from the national grid and uh, supplying their own energy need through renewable energy, then that will obviously reduce the deficit we have in the economy. And I think it's something that the government should support through the Pioneer uh, Tax Law by granting them some tax holidays.
A uh, very interesting conversation, and I'm sure we're going to uh, be knocking on your doors, uh, going to learn a whole lot more as all of us get to understand what's going on in Samo Sheikh uh, in terms of the role of the financial market, capital market, that is, in climate uh, change financing. Thank you so much for your time, and we appreciate your insight, as always. Uh, Johnson Chico, the CEO at uh, Career Asset Management and Investment Banking Professional. Thank you so much. Have a great evening.